Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNA tip of the week, and today I have a different kind of tip for you. Actually, this tip goes to the ones out there that are running Evoke and might be considering moving from Evoke to the DNN platform. Now, there's not much information out there about how to do that, how to move from Evoke to the DNN platform. However, I want to point out that a lot of what we have gone through was based on a post from my friend Mike Smeltzer. He put together a very good post, a very good starting point to get you set moving from Evoke to the internet platform. However, we wanted to go one level higher here and we wanted to provide as much details about the process that we have gone through to convert the client's website from an Evoke product to the DNN platform. And we are providing a lot of details. Actually, we are providing all the details that we have gone through, including files, scripts, details, lists, all kinds of, of resources to be as complete as possible that you can just follow step by step by step and be able to perform your own conversion. However, I have to point out that a conversion like that is very complex and we may have gone through some steps that might be relevant to you, that may not be relevant to you. You have to use your judgment there. However, as I said before, we are providing every single detail. This video here it just goes through a high level overview of all the steps, but each step has a separate video that you can go through each one of them individually. And again, the files, the scripts that are mentioned there during those videos, they are all available to you to download and use them. Very important. You need to, of course, backup. This is not a process that you're going to do on a live site. You have to do that on a copy of your site. I also assume that if you want to do the conversion, you know which features are not available in the DNN platform. Like at this point, liquid content is not available in the DNN platform. The social, some of the social modules related to engage is not available in the platform. The granular level of permissions is not available in the DNN platform. The web farm option is not available there either. So I'm assuming that you have gone through that analysis and you are in a way kind of convinced that you could move to the DNN platform safely. In our case, we have converted from Evoke 8 to DNN platform 8 as well. However, even if you are converting on DNN 9 or DNN 7, whatever version that might be, my hope is that with the instructions that we have provided here, that you're going to be able to apply the same logic, to apply the same steps, even if, if it varies a little bit, but to apply the same step by step on your situation so you know what you have to be on the lookout for. Also, I'm going to take this video series as a live process because we have done this conversion just about two weeks ago and things can show up later on that we're not expecting like they did just two days ago. We have noticed a problem and we have fixed that. And because of that, we have added another video into the video series. So this will be a live video series that we're going to be enhancing as we come across new information that we can share about this conversion. And here are the steps that we have gone through. Basically, we have broken down the conversion process into two phases. The first one is what I'm calling it the setup which are the required steps. You must do them for the conversion to work. The second set is more of a cleanup. So it's the cleanup phase, which is good to do, good to have, not fundamental, not essential, but good practice to keep your new DNN site clean. First one on the setup side, being merged, you have to merge the bean folder from a DNN platform site into your evoke site. The second one, you have to clean up 
the web config. Yes, there's a lot of work that goes on on that step. Actually, we broke that down into two different videos, one with each and every single step that we have gone through. It's a long video, it's over 20 minutes. The other one, we did a short one, a short version, just with a bullet point of what we have removed or modified from the web config. Step number three, that's the HTML module. We have to reinstall the HTML module on the converted website. The fourth step, we have to run a few database scripts to fix the HTML module as well. Step number five is if you're using Google Analytics on Evoke, you will need to reinstall Google Analytics as well as you have done with the HTML module. Step number six, you have to take care of disabling page history on Evoke. There is a page history feature that you change pages and you have to publish them on the Indian platform. This feature is not there. And because of that, you have to deactivate a few settings. So these are the steps on phase one, the setup phase. Phase two, which is the cleanup, we start with let's flag which modules we can delete from the installation. Modules related to evoke. Step number two we have to remove the modules that we have flagged as evoke specific. Step number three, we have to delete a bunch of folders that are no longer relevant. Step number four, we have to remove a few DLLs that will be hanging around on the bin folder that are no longer necessary. Step number five, we're going to delete a bunch of pages from the admin view of DNN that are no longer relevant. They used to be pages only related to evoke modules and they can be removed. Step number six, we have to take care of removing the additional permission options that are available on evoke, which are not available in the DNN platform. And you can see those permissions under module settings or page settings. We have to delete them. We have to get rid of them. Step number seven, we can delete a few extra tables that are hanging around on your database that are only related to evoke. And so far, if I'm not mistaken, we have detected three tables. However, there might be other tables that you might be able to delete them. This is not a priority, it's just a cleanup, but you can remove a few tables from the database. And step number eight, we're gonna get rid of a few schedules that are hanging as well in the schedule feature of DNN, and they are only related to evoke. We can delete a few of them, and that's what we're going to be doing on the last step so far on the cleanup phase of the conversion from evoke to the DNN platform. And the last thing that I want to mention is that all links to each and every step, to each and every video are available here in the video notes. So just have a look there and you can see each one of them. And if you have questions or if you need a little bit of help doing the migration from Evoke to the platform, you can drop an email. My email address is below. That's it. I hope that you enjoyed the series and I hope that this is useful to you. Thank you and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.